Hi friends, I'm Crystal Bessie with the Louisiana Farm to School program. This month's Louisiana Harvest of the Month is not only refreshing to eat, but people have been relying on them for centuries for things like soothing sunburns, hydrating skin, and even curing bad breath. It's cucumbers. These crispy fruits add crunch to salads and sandwiches, and they're often enjoyed preserved as pickles. Let's head to the farm to learn a little bit more about what makes the cucumber such a big deal. Cucumbers are more than 90% water, giving them their unique, refreshing quality, especially on a hot summer day, because the internal temperature is typically 20 degrees cooler than the air surrounding it. This is where the saying, cool as a cucumber, comes from. The cucumber is actually a fruit because they have seeds and grow from flowers. However, cucumbers are considered part of the vegetable group. They are members of the cucurbit family, and they're related to melons, squash, pumpkins, and gourds. Native to India, cucumbers are one of our most ancient vegetables. Cave excavations have revealed that cucumbers have been grown as a food source for over 3,000 years. Early cucumbers were probably very bitter because of compounds they contained called cucurbitacins. These natural defense compounds act to repel insects and other pests. I'm here with Charlie Loop today. He's the owner of Loop Farms here in Oscar, Louisiana, along the False River. He's gonna tell us a little bit more about cucumbers. Thanks for having us. Oh yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about yourself and about your farm. Well, I started this farm about nine years ago. It's a small, uh, maybe one and a half acre vegetable farm. I grow seasonal produce and I grow to organic standards, something I learned uh, when I farmed in Minnesota for a couple years on a certified organic vegetable operation. Nice. Well, this is a really nice property. I think that it, this land has been in your family for generations, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and most of my family had grown sugarcane for years and I just I wasn't very interested in it. I liked the diversity of the vegetable farm. And you have plenty of good things to eat on your table, I'm sure, every night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the kids can come out, and since, I, you know, I'm organic, grow to organic standards, they can walk and they can sample anything, they can eat anything, they don't have to worry about any kind of pesticides. So tell me about the different types of cucumbers you guys grow. I, I know that there are three main types. Do you grow all three of them here? I do. I grow, um, this is a slicing cucumber. This is a pickling cucumber right here. This, you want to pick them small. And this is a burpless cucumber. So the burpless cucumber has um, immature seeds, kind of a smoother skin. Yes, uh, the slicers. These are all, this is also seedless as well, and um, these have seeds, but only if you let them get very large. They're all different varieties of cucumbers. Is that right? So this one will not grow into this slicing cucumber. No, there's there's different kinds, and there's many different varieties of each kind. Well, these cucumbers look delicious. Let's see what Judy has cooking up in the kitchen. Let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Judy Myhand, and I'm here with Charlie and AJ Loop. And I just love it when cucumbers are in season. They can be eaten so many different ways. They can be eaten in a salad on a sandwich, as a pickle, or even just as they are, you can just chomp down on a cucumber. They're 96% water, and they're a good source of water-soluble vitamins, like vitamin C. Some other nutrients that are found in cucumbers are vitamin K, magnesium, and potassium. So, eat them often. You heard from Crystal that they're cooler on the inside than the outside temperature, so let's measure it. So we have a thermometer here and it says it's 90, 90 about 96, 96 degrees out here. Come on, AJ. So AJ is going to go back and measure a cucumber on the vine and we're going to see what the temperature is. About 86. Well, that's pretty good, huh? It went down a so little bit. That's where that cool as a cucumber comes from. It's a good thing to eat a few cucumbers because that can help you hydrate. It can also curb your hunger and give you a little bit of energy. So we have a beautiful cucumber salad here. I like to make this cucumber salad when 
tomatoes and cucumbers have their, where their seasons coincide because right now, as you can see behind us, there are a lot of tomatoes growing at the same time that the cucumbers are. Here's another fun idea. I'm gonna show AJ how to use this peeler. She's been practicing, so she's pretty good at it, but what we wanna do here is we're gonna alternate so that we have a little bit of green peel still left on the cucumber because that's gonna make it look more uh, attractive. So now what we're gonna do is cut a big, a thick slice, and we're gonna scoop those seeds out to make a hole in the middle of it, just like you would if you were um, gonna stuff it. So we're gonna put a little of this tuna salad right in there, and we're gonna pretend like that's sushi. If you've ever been to a sushi uh, restaurant, you might have seen a kind of sushi on there called Naruto. And what Naruto is, is a sushi that uses cucumber instead of seaweed around the outside of the sushi. So we are learning how to make our uh, coating for our uh, Naruto. So watch AJ, she knows what she's doing. Very good. Look at that. And we'll put that down on our bamboo sushi mat. We can put a cucumber, some carrots, some red bell pepper. All right, so then with your bamboo mat, you tuck this down like this, and then you start to roll. Roll it, roll it, roll it. There we go our beautiful Naruto. And what you do is you slice it then across the grain or so to speak, and then um, we'll sprinkle some sesame seeds on it and try it. Every year, just about, I travel to Greece and one of the fun things that we do when we're there is we make something called tzatziki. And to make that, you grate cucumber into yogurt. So we have some yogurt right here that has a little bit of dill in it we're gonna zest a lemon, and we're gonna add it to this mixture of yogurt. So there's a little salt in here, uh, and make ourselves some tzatziki, and then we're gonna try it on a little piece of pita bread. <laughs> what I usually say to my students is, when they're trying something new, is try it. You just might like it. And now, we're going to go back to Crystal and learn more about growing cucumbers. So tell me a little bit about what a cucumber plant is like. Is it on a vine? It looks kind of viney. They, they'll sprawl. You, they'll sprawl out on the ground like a vine. You can train them to grow upward. I have some, a whole row over here that's growing all the way to the roof of my tunnel. And these, I kind of I didn't have time to trellis them, so they're just laying down on the ground. So yeah, I would say the most home gardens kind of do this. and um, It's a great way to grow cucumbers. So the plant will make male and female flowers, or, and they'll have male flowers throughout the vine, these little yellow flowers. And so these require bees to, for pollination, this particular variety. Yeah, so they like warm weather? Yes, definitely. My first, my first set of cucumbers, I started very early in the greenhouse, and um, they were in a tunnel covered. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was able to pick really early, but they, they really like warm weather. And then when warm weather hits, they really start producing. They just warm. go crazy. Yeah. yeah. How often do you harvest cucumbers? Every other day. What, <laughs> at this time of year, you know, in the spring, you might could pick every three days, but right now, every, every two days, you have to pick or else they'll just get really big and, you know, people don't want to buy a huge cucumber. Okay, so now we're here in the high tunnel and you've got some cucumbers strung up here all the way to the ceiling. And I see some big ones up there too. Yeah, Can some you... of them are hard to reach. Yeah, it's, I think so. This, um, this, this variety is gynoecious, which means it just makes female flowers and it does not require a pollinator. It's a super productive variety. So every node, it's gonna make a cucumber. Thanks. So this one is gonna be um, seedless. Yes. because they don't have pollination. Kind of like a seedless watermelon. You'll still see the little, the little, you know, little seedlet in there. Kind of immature but seeds. It's, it's not, it's not going to be hard when you eat Can it. we look inside? Sure. So mm -hmm. I see that the, there's some seeds in there, but they're, they're not going to be anything that you can taste. No. It's 
smells good. Mm -hmm. Charlie, um, so where do you sell your vegetables? I offer a CSA that services New Rose in St. Francisville and also have a farm stand that's open on Saturdays from 8 to noon most Saturdays throughout the year. So CSA, you, uh, what does that stand for? It stands for Community Support Agriculture and it's a program um, where people sign up for say 12 weeks and they'll pay me all up front and then each week delivered to their home. I'll put together a delivery of whatever I'm picking in the field, you know, seasonal produce. Oh, nice. So right to your door, the whole bounty of whatever you have that week. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, try, I try to grow things people like to eat. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, AJ, also for your help today. And thank you, Charlie, for welcoming us at your farm. We enjoyed it. Thank you. The Louisiana Harvest of the Month program showcases a different Louisiana-grown food each month in Louisiana communities. We hope you will join us in tasting Louisiana this month.